Dear all, in this video, I'll be showing a sample technical seminar report for you. I hope if you observe this report, you can able to write your report in an effective manner. Let us have the discussion about the particular technical seminar report. This technical seminar report is on analysis of partial shading on the performance of solar PV panel. That is the title of the particular seminar. This seminar will be useful for electrical and electronics engineering students. Here, you need to follow up the title page, then certificate page, then acknowledgement as per the university or college format. Immediately after completion of acknowledgement, you are supposed to write the abstract. The particular student has returned the abstract of the particular topic. The topic is on analysis of partial shading on the performance of solar PV panel. First of all, the student has mentioned the importance of renewable energy source. Later, among renewable energy source, what is the contribution of PV power generation, solar PV power generation, and the scenario of solar PV power generation nowadays, and what are the major impacts of partial shading, and uh, how to analyze the performance of partial shading. The student has done the analysis of partial shading in real time as well as with the help of MATLAB software. Once I read the abstract, I should come to know that what student is going to present. So that is the importance of abstract. It should be precise. Okay, try to write the abstract in a precise manner and making suitable uh, technical terms so that once the reader is going through the particular seminar report of abstract, he should understand or he or she should understand what are the major contents. Okay, here student is mainly focusing on the analysis of partial shading in real time and with the help of MATLAB simulating software. So that is abstract. Later, you need to mention the table of content. Student has mentioned the table of content. How about the distribution of your report? Okay, so by putting the proper number, proper title, it should be clearly visible. Suppose if I am interested to learn about IV and the PV characteristics of PV panel under PSC. PSC means partial shaded condition. I can directly refer the page number 10. For the convenience of the reader, better you can give the page number effectively. And uh, alignment also should be proper. First of all, you can able to construct everything in a table. Later, you can remove the borders. That is the shortcut method. Okay, table of content. You can first everything. It is better to write in a with the table with the border. Later, you can hide the table and border so that it will come in a proper margin and a proper alignment. Try to maintain in a proper alignment. Okay, everything should be in a proper uh, manner and it should be precise. The next one is list of table. How many tables are included? That has to be mentioned very clearly. Later, list of diagrams. How many diagrams you have mentioned? That should be mentioned very clearly without making any mistakes on the numbers. That is very important. Later, introduction part. First of all, you have to I you have to mention about energy scenario, world and energy scenario. Okay. Uh, then you have to mention about the importance of PV panel. Then impact of partial shading in brief. So afterwards, you can able to write what is the definition of partial shading. They have written like that. What is partial shading? So how about the impact of partial shading? Okay. So what are the major content which are involved in the particular report? You can able to distribute also. For example, chapter one describes or chapter two describes the modeling of partial shading. Chapter three uh, depicts the real time explanation of partial shading. Likewise, you can able to proceed so that you will be having a better understanding. Introduction, you can elaborate at least one page. You can able to make out one page. Later on objectives of the seminar report, what are the major objectives? You can able to use the Roman number and it has to be mentioned very clearly. Afterwards, you have to conduct a detailed literature review. It can be extended up to two or three pages. Okay, like this, you can mention, see. For example, PVRI. I'll be getting the partial shading on PVRI from the reference paper. Same thing should be reflected in the reference. At the end, you, you'll be putting the reference. Same uh, content should, same paper or same uh, literature should be mentioned in the reference also. So likewise, you have to mention like reference number two. I am able to get the information about the characteristics of PV panel if I refer the paper number two, paper or website, whatever it can be. So likewise, you have to mention number three, third reference. It should be continued. Remember that reference should be continued like this. Okay. And uh, different terminologies like the fill factor, partial shading, then short circuit, open circuit. You can able to mention at the abbreviation page. You can able to mention separate abbreviation near, uh, along with the appendix. Okay. Because many readers 
uh, actually those who are reading first time it is new for them in order to help them it is better to mention the abbreviations also then solar photovoltaic panel and the third chapter okay third segment is solar photovoltaic panel you have to explain about importance of solar photovoltaic panel then modeling of solar photovoltaic panel how does spv panel operate what is the working principle what are the configuration of spv system like the solar cell combined combination of solar cell forms module then module forms solar panel solar panel forms array like waste configuration also you have mentioned student has mentioned the configuration and working how does solar panel work you can able to explain okay like this you can able to this is one of the model one student has done so i am just uh, showing the model for your information likewise you can able to prepare your own report likewise iv pv characteristics okay it is clearly mentioned uh, then modeling of solar panel what single diode modeling is explained with the necessary mathematical equations don't forget to put the equation number that is mandatory you can use the equations by using equation editor that is also one of the good thing if, if you are it improves the report quality syntax everything should be in a proper manner okay so whatever the technical terms you have mentioned you have to give the explanation and also all the equation should be in a systematical manner later we are going to analyze about partial shading effect on the solar cell student has given about what is the meaning of partial shading and uh, a diagram has been put up you are don't forget to mention the courtesy where you are able to uh, take the diagram do mention the courtesy okay do mention the courtesy effectively and uh, don't forget to put the figure number also like this figure 5 partial shading on pv panel better put the high quality diagram diagram should have the photo should have better quality and you have to adjust the contrast all those things you have to adjust okay uh, then matlab simulating model of pv panel then simulation of pv panel under normal condition like uh, uh, 25 degrees celsius and 1000 watt per meter square normally these are the standard stc condition standard uh, test condition okay so you can able to model uh, the solar pv panel with the help of the matlab simulating environment here we have considered the student has considered 125 watt solar pv panel so you can perform the ideal simulation and you can able to plot iv and pv characteristics that's the first condition later uh, the simulation of pv panel under partial shaded condition what is going to happen this is actually the normal condition under the normal condition you can able to get the graph but during the partial shaded condition the uh, what is the impact of partial shaded condition what about the output see normal condition i am able to get the output of maximum output of 120 watts but during the partial shaded condition what might be the output here you have to modify you are supposed to modify uh, you have to add some external resistance or external interference and external uh, circuit to make the partial shaded artificially you are going to create because it's a simulation right so i am going to show you the output during the partial shaded condition so drastically the maximum power has come down drastically you can able to see partial shading due to partial shading the output has been reduced to 92 watts okay and later one stage it has to be reached to 60 watts also okay these are the local maxima formation of local maxima multiple maxima has been formulated here also there is a drastic drastic changes in the current that you can mention so output you have to take in a proper manner and mention the uh, axis properly do the x-axis and the y-axis don't forget to do the labeling labeling is very important if possible you can mention the title as well then real time later real time testing of pv panel under partial shaded condition and the procedure procedure has been mentioned very clearly then circuit diagram you have to mention so with the partial shading condition and without the partial shading condition if you are using meters it should be dc you have to mention like this circuit diagram should be neat and clear and mention the rating effectively pv panel rating of 10 watts better to increase the quality of the diagram then tabular column you have to mention during the reading without the partial shading what might be the reading with the partial shading what could be the reading likewise you have to prepare the table effectively and avoid the unnecessary gap and unnecessary spacing it should be uniform your report should be uniform clear uh, then you can able to show the waveforms after after doing the uh, real time explanation real time experiment you can able to get the plot the student has taken the plot from excel first of all uh, they have done in a real time explain a real time manner and uh, data has been analyzed with the help of excel software microsoft excel and the output has been displayed in this manner so they have done both the analysis like uh, uh, with the partial shading and without partial shading with the help of matlab software and real time uh, real time manner then methods of overcome partial shading psc stands for partial shading don't forget to mention the elaboration of psc 
uh, at the end of the session. Okay, uh, some cases it will be mentioning at the beginning also. That could be better. So you can use different techniques like bypass diode. What are the use of bypass diode to uh, mitigate the effect of partial shading? Uh, next, uh, string arrangement. How string arrangement helps to overcome the issues of partial shading? Uh, then uh, MLPE method, so module level power electronics method, like uh, solar power optimizer, SPO. By using SPO, how you are going to overcome a partial shaded condition? What are the remedies? What are the major solutions? Another one is micro inverter. How micro inverter help to overcome partial shaded condition? Finally, you can able to make the conclusion. Student has made the conclusion. So conclusion should be explained with a certain analysis. But result, you have to conclude the result. So what happened during partial shaded condition? and what happened during normal condition, make a suitable comparison and how to mitigate the effect of partial shading condition that you have to mention very clearly. No need to mention any kind of reference number in the conclusion and uh, explain the conclusion with a certain data, certain analysis that gives more weightage. Whenever you are preparing the conclusion, better add more data and analysis. It gives 100% weightage. That is the opinion like the student has done in an effective manner. Finally, uh, the reference need to be put in a systematic manner. You need to put the references. At least 25 references can be added. So they have done so many references. Like this, you can able to mention. Okay, this is the way how to make out a suitable seminar report. I would like to show you uh, one more report which is prepared by another student. Like. Uh, Title of the particular seminar report is Pollution Minimization from Industry Emission by Using Electrostatic Precipitator. Okay, ESP, it is a high voltage device which helps to minimize uh, the atmospheric or environmental pollution. So first of all, introduction they have written. Before that, uh, the title page, certificate page, acknowledgement and abstract have to be put up. Later, introduction. Next, types of industrial pollution. You can able to explain about type of industrial pollution like this. So, collect the information. And effects of industrial pollution, like 3, 3.1, effect of human health, then effect on animals, then effect on plants, then detailed literature review need to be carried out. Don't forget to mention this kind of square bracket with the numbering because it has to be highlighted. Where is the reference? That has to be put up in the same references at the end at the end of the seminar report. If someone can able to identify the details, they can refer that particular uh, paper. Then major causes of air pollution. Then air quality index, AQI, one of the major parameters. If I talk about uh, pollution, you need to make AQI, air quality index. Okay. Then table, you have to get the tables. Whenever you are making the table, don't forget to mention the table number. So remedial measures, you have to mention such kind of uh, gases, impact of different gases, then different points related to the impact of different gases has to be mentioned, like a greenhouse gases. Then air pollution control systems and equipment. You have to mention about what are the different equipments which helps to minimize the air pollution. Like uh, auxiliary equipment for the removal of air pollution. So you can frame the table, it will be more informative. It will be more precise also. Try to make more tables so that readers can able to grasp the, grasp the information very clearly. Then you can mention about electrostatic precipitators in industries. Put the diagrams. Don't forget to mention the courtesy. Where you are taken from the diagram. That is very important. Different construction details of electrostatic precipitator. Types of ESP. Then how to calculate the performance of ESP. Do mention the equations by using equation editor. Use the equation editor, that is must. Then only your report looks better. What are the major process involved in electrostatic precipitator? Then design consideration of ESP. How, how to design the ESP. Then you can mention different type of particles. And you can mention about the wet type electrostatic precipitator. How does it operate? So you can able to mention the real time application without, uh, don't mention, uh, don't forget to mention the courtesy. That's very important. How does MW ESP operate? Do mention the elaboration of MW ESP at the abbreviation. Okay. Do mention the abbreviation that really helps the, the readers to understand what is the elaboration of that particular word meaning. Those who are writing the report, they, they, they might be knowing that, but externally, those who are reading that it is very difficult to identify what is the expansion or elaboration. 
then advantages and disadvantages of the system and what are the major conclusion okay and the references can be mentioned accordingly so like this you can able to prepare a precise report okay so two reports i have shown you in the coming session i'll be showing you the presentation how to present it effectively that is very important report maximum we can restrict with the 20 pages especially it will be helpful for uh, final year be in all branches and uh, uh, mtech students also it will be really useful okay uh, and diploma students also can be adopt the similar kind of uh, methods okay i hope you have understood how to write the report even in my previous sessions also i have explained uh, the uh, steps for writing the technical seminar report uh, with the help of example you can if you can able to explain that is that that could be much effective that is why i have explained with the help of examples if you are having any queries you can put up in the comment box i will report finally thank you very much for watching this video